ideal matriculation higher secondary school good morning my dear students session 7 class 7 topic unit 1 pros aidak section 1 seven standard term 1 pros aida by munshi premchand section 1 how wonderful and the beautiful was the morning of eight the trees looked greener the field more festive the sky had a lovely pink glow the sun seemed brighter and more dazzling than before to wish the world a very happy eat in this passage the author says the morning of the eighth was very beautiful and wonderful the trees looked greener the field was in the mood to celebrate eighth the sky shine in a lovely pink color the sun looked brighter and more brighter than before here it is to wish the world for eighth festival next passage the village was filled with excitement everyone was up early to go to Ada the boys were more excited than the others they had been talking about it all the time finally the day had come and now they were impatient they were taking their treasure out of their packets counting and recounting it before putting it back in this passage the author says the whole village was filled with happiness and the people of the village wake up early to go to Aida. The boys were more excited than the others because they wanted to eat sweets, wore new dresses and bought some toys at the fair. Finally, the day begins. The boys were anxious and eager. They were taking their money out of their pockets and quiet twice before it put back to their packets. Then next passage. Mahmud counted 1, 2, 10, 12. He had 12 coins. Mohsin had 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, he had 15 coins. With this money, they would buy countless things. Toys, sweets, paper pipes, rubber balls, and much more. Mahmud, Mohsin, Nure, and Shami are Hamid's friends. Now, Mahmud had 12 coins and Mohsin had 15 coins. They decided to buy sweets, toys, paper pipes, rubber balls and more at the fair. The next passage. The happiest of the boys was Hamid. He was only four, thin and poorly dressed. Last year his father had died of cholera. Then his mother also died. From then Hamid lived with his old granny Amina was as happy as a lark. She told him that his father had gone to earn money and that his mother had gone to Allah to get lovely gifts for him. This made Hamid very happy. In this passage the author says, a year before his parents were died, his father was died of cholera. After their death, Hamid was lived with his grandmother. He was only four. He looks thin and dressed in a poor manner. He was so happy as Lork. Lork is a singing bird. A bird always sings a song for express its happiness. Like Hamid lived a happy life in his grandmother's house. His grandmother told Hamid that his father had gone to earn money and his mother had gone to Allah 
to get the beautiful gifts for him the words of grandmother made him very happy the next stanza next passage hamid had no shoes on his feet the cap on his head was soiled and tattered he knew that his father would come back with sacks full of silver and his mother would gifts from allah then he would have more than mahmud mohsin nure and sami he didn't have shoes to wear he wore a soiled and torn cap on his head he waited for his parents to get back with beautiful gifts and sacks full of silver then he moved with his friends mahmud mohsin nure and shami look at the next passage hamid granny amina was sad it was eight and she did not have even a handful of grains if only her son were there it would have been a great different kind of eight hamid went to his grandmother and said granny i will be the first to get back don't worry amina was worried other boys were going with going out with their fathers how could she let him go to the fair all by himself in this passage the author says amina his grandmother was very sad it was eid but she did not have a handful of grains if hamid's father was alive it would be a great aid for them but he was no more hamid promised his grandmother to come back early to home and not to worry about him his grandma felt very sad because every child went to fair with their fathers she couldn't like to send him to the fair alone hamid left with the other boys hamid was like one with wings on his feet they ran on ahead of the elders and waited for them under a tree they reached the suburbs of the town on both sides of the road were big houses of the rich in the gardens mango and lychee trees were full of fruits then they came across the stores of the sweet vendors all decorated so gaily every store had sweets piled up in heaps like mountains in this last passage of this section hamid went with other boys he felt very happy and ran fastly and passed the elders he is waiting for his friends under a tree they had reached the outer part of the town he saw the rich big houses on both sides of the road the mango and lychee trees were full of fruits in the garden he came across the stores of sweet vendors which was decorated colorfully the sweets in stores are covered with full of heaps it looks like a small mountains dear students i hope you enjoyed this session let's see some glossaries dazzling extremely bright it means more bright tattered torn suburbs outskirts it means a outer area of your city gaily in bright colors it means bright colors of your shop let's see some pictures this is called eid the festival of eid this is lark it is a singing bird 